Paper and Jamper are tarping on a high layer in third moving and they realize that they have a lot of materials for this point in the game. They react to this information by both double hammering up and while they are in the sky they both look for SMG and shotgun shots onto the current height player and they are easily able to take height off Macwood and from here win the game. This was just one of eight duo tips that we will cover in this video and later on we will cover how Steady and Cami find Surge, some crazy refresh strats, and much more that you will have to watch till the end to see. Next up we have Trashy who opens up this fight with an 80 tag onto his enemy. Pump then sets up a pinch and Trashy creates peace control in the direction of Away from where pump is pressuring the isolated solo this works because most good players will react to being pressured by making space away from the direction they are being pressured by establishing peace control in this direction trashy gives himself an extremely easy kill trashy and rise may have won this fight but they still have a lot of this game ahead of them that we will look at later in this video but anyways let's look at how cami and seti find their storm surge Seti and Kami find themselves below the Storm Surge in Game 4 of the Elite Cup Finals, and so they stagger until the zone is right on their back. This allows for a ton of teams to rotate in front of them so that Seti and Kami can get a ton of Storm Surge onto players rotating in who are less likely to block their backs. Seti and Kami then are the last team to rotate in and make sure to use the houses in Anvil Square to cut off line of sight and find themselves in easy rotation. Let's move from the Surge back to the end game. Ren and Nanas played Game 2 of the Elite Cup Finals with zero hammer. This meant that they have to play extremely efficiently in order to survive longer than the players who can save a ton of materials flying through the air. Ren and Nanas do this by sticking right on each other on the front side of the low ground for the majority of the end game. Hen and Anas also try to stick to the edge of the zone so that they can avoid the most congestion and have a very clean tarps throughout the endgame. This allowed this team to get very deep into the final moving with no hammer and Anas was able to solo clutch out the victory royale from here. Going from low ground to high ground, now let's look at the unique way that Pump and Trashy find a refresh. Pump and Trashy are playing height at the start of first moving and when Pump gets a hill by spraying the team rotating at the back side of the zone, they both play extremely aggressively for the body because they can both just hammer back if it is getting too chaotic around the knock. Pump and Trashy also don't really care if height gets taken off them at this point in the game because holding height in chapter 4 is incredibly inconsistent, but this play ends up giving them a great refresh that they are able to hold height with for the rest of the game, which they eventually won. Instead of looking at how teams win game, let's look at how Hen and Anas start their game by winning their off spawn. Anas and Hen land at Frenzy Fields, and they are contesting Cami and Seti. Anas opens this fight up perfectly by hitting Seti with an Excalibur rifle, starting this fight off with 160 damage. And before this fight has even started, Hen has perfectly positioned himself in a pinch on Seti by using the barn to stop Cami and Seti from seeing him. This allows Hen to quickly get the kill onto Seti before Hen and Anas perform a perfect pinch onto Cami, winning this off spawn fight extremely quickly. Let's move a little further on into the game, moving into the mid game, and see how Dom and Creep quickly win a mid game fight. Dom and Creep are looking to push Snipes and Louis, and they make sure that when they get a huge damage tag, they are already on top of a mountain so they can start off the fight on the high ground. This allows them to patiently apply pressure while not over committing to any play. Creep then waits until Snipes makes an over aggressive play which he punishes massively and this allows Creep and Dom to quickly clean up this fight by closing in and creating tight pinches onto Snipes and Louis. Finally let's move back to the end game and look at how Seti and Kami play in a unique way in the later moving zone. With hammers in chapter 4 many players feel like they have to rely on them in order to make their end game rotates but oftentimes using hammers later in the moving zones can cause more harm than good. This is why Seti isn't afraid to use sprint rotates to move himself through the moving zones or even to use impulses to speed up his rotates so that him and Kami can get Get more consistent great endgame. This was eight tips from the Duo Elite Cup. If you want more tips on placing in duos, then check out the video on screen.